The following is a review of my Top Step 150K Combine Step 2 uh, London Session Trades for Monday, July 24th, 2023. I'm now exiting the charts uh, until the regular trading hour session after the New York Open. So I started trading uh, initially here at... Um, see if I had any trades prior to that. No. 22.22. The uh, first trade that I took was a long aiming two contracts, aiming for buy side liquidity. Uh, I definitely took off the first contract a little bit too early. Second contract was right there uh, where it should be. Second trade I took two shorts um, at 5.53 three quarters. Um, and covered them a little bit too a uh, little bit too quickly it looks like uh, should have let that draw down further into sell side liquidity um, I then uh, it looks like I tried a couple longs that went into drawdown for a while um, so I lost a little bit of precision of, of my precision um, coming into the New York midnight I remember thinking the price was going to draw up to this buy side liquidity, uh, which it ended up doing, but it didn't, it didn't quite do it at the time that I thought it was going to do it, did it later. So I then took um, a couple longs on the London cash, uh, Stock Exchange cash open. Uh, I got stopped out break even on the first couple contracts, which was probably suboptimal. I mean, at that point, it was pretty clear that price was going to trade up to this old 15 minute uh, sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency. But in any event, I ended up making a profit on those uh, three contracts as well. I then took a couple of longs as price came into this um, one minute order block here. Uh, the first contract came off a little bit, yeah, a little bit too early there on the first contract. And uh, too early on the second contract as well. I, I, I let those go for scalps and, and really um, I should have tried to let these things run all the way up to buy side liquidity. But uh, or at least one contract, see if it could run back up to 583 evens and buy side liquidity. I then tried a couple shorts, um, and I did a one standard deviation. Uh, looks like I got stopped out break even on the first couple attempts. Second attempt, I made six and a half points, and that was a good trade there. That uh, I sold short on a stop below that green candle there, where my cursor is. So it looks like I did pretty well with that. Um, I then tried to short again, thinking the price was going to draw down back to 563 quarters. It did not do that. It ended up turning on an order block or a black candle over here. Uh, so I took some drawdown on that. And then um, I ended up uh, trying to get short again at 574 quarters. And that trade was really shorting the bottom there. And, and price made another high at 0537 I ended up taking 14 points of drawdown which um, that that really there was uh, not a good trade so when I entered in short again at 574 halves and then I added on one more contract at 580 halves uh, I was getting a little bit lost in this dense range getting a little bit lost with what price was drawing to it was just repeatedly kind of drifting up to that buy side liquidity attacking that buy side liquidity multiple times uh, and so what I ended up doing is I ended up um, taking a small loss on those three contracts and then shorting another contract at 570, 578 quarters and covered that at 567 halves, which was uh, basically this black candle over here. So there were a couple instances tonight including a, a couple of longs that I ended up taking about, I don't know, 14 points of drawdown on and a short that I took 14 points of drawdown on. And it was just that um, the price was continuing to attack the same side liquidity that it, ha it had been attacking for longer than I expected it would. Um, so a couple of these trades, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't let them go to the full target. I probably should have let that happen, and then a couple of them I, I mistimed. But um, overall, I was correct that um, I, had, I had predicted coming into the London session that we were going to drop into this 15-minute sell-side imbalance, buy-side inefficiency. And sure enough, we did that. 
and then I ended up playing a little bit of scalping, uh, scalping in the range. So, but my overall idea that price was going to trade up, up into 582 quarters, ended up trading well above that to 594 quarters, 10 points higher. But I had a feeling it would get up to that old SIBI, which is what it did, and then it ended up drawing to that wick inefficiency as well. So, um, not perfect trading, but it was profitable trading. And um, at this point, I'm just going to sit it out for the next uh, two hours or so. Um, I, I'm, I'm just going to wait until 20 minutes into the regular trading hour session and see where price goes from here. This is right around the time of the day, the London PM session that, that um, historically I've done very badly with. And, and so I'm just not even going to uh, mess with it. Price is still... You know, looking at our five-minute chart here, I do think price is going to want to draw lower to this 30-minute buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency. Midway point of that comes in at comes in at 554 halves, and I I imagine we're probably still going to go after that. Um, we're kind of getting to that point of the day where we're in a very dense range now, and I'm getting a little bit lost with where where I think you know it's not as clear to me where price wants to go at this point. It could want to run these equal highs, get all the way back up to 594 halves as well. And so I'm just uh, a little bit lost with what price is doing right now, and I'm tired. So I'm feeling tired right now. I, I want to um, take a break, relax. Um, so not, you know, not perfect trading, but my overall draw on liquidity coming into the session was correct. And now, um, now I'm not feeling 100%. Now I'm feeling tired, so I am going to take a break. This has been a review of my London AM session trades. Um, overall, did well tonight. Let a, let a few things run a little bit too far. Didn't let a, a couple of trades that I should have let draw up all the way to buy side liquidity. I took those contracts off too early. But overall, uh, I'm positive. I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm looking forward to the regular trading hour session. And uh, yeah, this has been a review of my London, London AM session trades.